lot of people seem to have problems um, removing these stock flywheels and replacing them with um, the flywheels with kind of the cogs cut into them so you can put a starter on. Um, I don't really have any special magic to doing this, but I do have a technique that seems to work pretty well I've never had a problem with. Um, once you get all of the fan and whatnot off, um, I like to take just a small crowbar like this. Um, they'll see that the edge of the flywheel itself is a bit thick. There's some meat on it there, so you don't really have to worry about damaging that. But if you can kind of, you know, prop this right about here like that, um, most people like to hit the the shaft with a hammer right on the back. You do need to be really careful about that. But what I like to do um, is to just kind of put my body weight. If you have your, your engine or your workbench, you can cut, you can do this by yourself by, you know, giving yourself some leverage and then just kind of using your beer gut to, uh, you know, torque it a little bit while you're tapping on the shaft. And so you do that a little bit, rotate it, you know, about a quarter turn or so, tap it again, tap, 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 loosen it up just a little bit. You know, it's not, you're going to feel like it's not going to budge a little bit, but you're going <clears> to, <throat> what's going to happen is that when you get to the point where the magnet passes over the ignition coil, you can tell it's starting to, to, to break free because that magnet is no longer going to be able to pass, um, you know, pass by that coil because there's no clearance left. So just keep tapping at it. You do not need to hit this super hard. Um, don't break anything. If you do break something, you're going to have to crack crack it open and figure out what you did wrong. So just keep at it. It may take a few minutes, um, but you really shouldn't have too much of a problem doing it. And then once you're able to get it off, you know, putting it back together is a lot simpler. I right. hope that helps you. Don't forget to pick up six M6 uh, hex head bolts at 25 millimeters. They really do need to be 25 millimeters. Um, and these are for your stator coils as well as um, your starter. You need two for each coil and then two for the starter. If you're thinking about repurposing um, any of this stuff that just comes you know, bolted on out of the box, um, it's probably gonna be at the wrong length. They're probably gonna be too short because the sh these attach uh, the shroud on there and this little brackety thing but um, they're really not gonna work when you try to get your starter on there. If you go to M6 at 30 millimeters, um, I have tried that on both the coils and the starter, and they're just too long. I mean, you can't get away with the runner right here, but 25 millimeters is exactly the right length. 20 would probably work, but at 25, they're gonna thread all the way in there, um, probably a millimeter or two longer, and um, they would just not be able to tighten. They would bottom out in there. So M6, one by 25 millimeters.